We're standing here in the Thomas Center galleries at the historic Thomas Center, surrounded by three dozen sculptures by Jesse James Aaron, all of them made with raw materials, found materials, and wood. Jesse Aaron is an American citizen of mixed racial heritage. He is part Seminole Indian, part African American. He was born in Lake City, Florida in 1887. He was able to come to Gainesville, which is the big city at the time from his rural area north of here, and worked at this building, which is now a gallery and a historic cultural arts center, but was at the time a hotel, the Hotel Thomas. Jesse Aaron worked as a baker in this room, which was the kitchen, from 1933 to 1937. His wife is reported to have been losing her eyesight and required surgery. He prayed for a way to be able to provide the surgery for his wife and awoke in the middle of the night with what he believed to be the voice of God telling him, Jesse, go carve. He is said to have gotten up at that very moment and gone to his workshop to begin to make carvings, which ultimately did provide all the money he needed for the surgery for his wife. It would be about 1968 or 69 that he had that first calling to carve, and he spent the rest of his years up until his death in 1979 doing so. He was not a young man, he was 81 years old, and he weighed 130 pounds. His hands, we can see from the photographs, were very arthritic, they're gnarled, and yet he wrestled these logs into shapes and forms, so he's elderly, He's a small person, he's using chainsaws and axes. It's very physical work. It was physical work just to put these 24 pieces into this gallery. One of the pieces we're most fortunate to be able to include in this exhibit is owned by Santa Fe College. And it is a figure of a dog, three-dimensional, and it's carved on both sides. It's carved all the way around, it has attached legs and a bone in the mouth of the dog. It includes some of the most vibrant eyes that Jesse Aaron has put on any of his pieces. I'm excited to be standing next to this incredible piece by Jesse Aaron. It's the head of a horse carved out of a log. And you can see that he's discovered in the grains of the bark and the molding of the log itself, the musculature of the horse and the three-dimensional character of the animal itself in movement. And I think that exemplifies his finding God within the natural world around him. He said, I never try to second guess the Lord. And in his mission to go carve, I think that's what he's doing. So one of the most important things to me personally as the curator in putting this exhibit into this space is that I would carry the work in here from the first time I brought a Jesse Aaron piece and feel a real emotional experience, a connection, because this is a man who worked in this very space at a time when his life was not defined the way it might be today, or certainly the way our lives are, or the way people who can come to an art gallery might experience this space. He worked here, it was not air conditioned, it was hot, it was the 1930s, and bringing his art into the space feels magical or sacred, very important, it feels important to me. Here at the Thomas Center, we were fortunate to be able to have the opportunity to have a Jesse Aaron exhibit and wanted to include another exhibit in our mezzanine gallery upstairs that would complement and somehow work in synchronicity with the Jesse Aaron show. And of course, it was Lenny Kessel. Lenny Kessel was from Gainesville. He is a beloved teacher and artist here for many decades. The exhibit upstairs marks the anniversary of what would be his 90th birthday this month. Confluence, which is the event that includes Tree of Life, the work of Jesse Aaron, and the Faces of Kessel, will be here in Gainesville and open to the public until September 20th.